As the owner of a very successful nutritional company and one of the leaders in the cognitive space, I get asked from friends and family alike, what is a nootropic or what are nootropics? Having put together the best-selling product on Amazon, one of the most popular nootropics in the world, I feel compelled to bring some clarity and really just to simplify the word. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what a nootropic is, the two distinct categories of nootropics that exist, and ultimately, you'll understand the benefits and risks of taking nootropics. For starters, the word nootropic comes from the Greek word nos, meaning mind, and tropin, meaning towards. Brought together, they establish the phrase towards the mind, and that definition is stuck. A nootropic is regarded as any compound that acts on cognitive function. Most of you probably have a nootropic every morning when you pour your cup of joe. Caffeine is a nootropic. It's a stimulant and it sharpens the mind, improves mood, and keeps you alert. Don't worry though, for all you aspiring biohackers out there that are entranced by this idea of upgrading your mental machinery, options exist. At this point, it's probably important to break down the two categories into essentially natural and synthetic nootropics. While caffeine falls into the natural category, there's a number of other natural compounds that are supported by scientific research that really supports their usage. So it's probably a good time to highlight Genius Consciousness, my most popular creation. I'm using consciousness as my reference here because in my opinion, it truly is the ultimate nootropic stack. Stacking is a very popular concept in the world of nootropics, and all it means is combining unique compounds to achieve a more desirable effect. The intent of consciousness was to dramatically ramp up focus and attention without overstimulation, crash, or otherwise harmful side effects. This is a delicate balance since the same stimulants that increase alertness and focus are often the same culprits of anxiety. How did we achieve the proper balance? Fortunately, there's a number of herbal remedies out there that act on offsetting biological stressors, and as a result, they bring balance and stability to the heightened state of cognitive capacity. In consciousness, 100 milligrams of natural caffeine, the amino acid L-tyrosine, and the patented dynamine come together to create a natural stimulatory engine that drives alertness and attention. Stress and anxiety levels are regulated by the ultra-powerful Serenade, an ingredient proven to reduce cortisol levels, which is often a culprit of biological dysfunction. The stack is further fortified with a number of non-stimulatory cognitive enhancers, like the trademarked Alpha GPC, often recognized as one of the most powerful natural brain nutrients in the world. Working memory and long-term brain health are also supported by a number of other ingredients like lion's mane mushroom and neurofactor. All in all, we brought all of these together to make consciousness the gold standard for natural nootropic stacking. So does it get any better than this? Well, it just depends on who you ask. You see, there's a whole nother class of nootropics out there. These are the synthetics. Some of you might've heard of Adderall or Modafinil, right? Two prescription medications that are really kind of at the forefront of this synthetic nootropic class. People take these and you know experience really insanely heightened attention, boosted mood, all that stuff. Like the first time anyone takes Adderall, they claim to feel just absolutely superhuman. Well, what's the downside you might ask? All those nasty side effects I mentioned with natural stimulants really rear their head grossly when it comes to these artificial compounds. You see, the way these prescription drugs act on your dopamine receptors, they can leave you elated in a state of just pure bliss. What happens when you stop taking them? There is a gross crash and your brain doesn't really know how to handle it. You'll experience low serotonin, low dopamine, lack of motivation, um, really quite horrible side effects that can take a lot to overcome. So caution that, right? Like, like use it for what that's worth. I don't personally believe in them, um, but if that's an avenue you wanna explore, it is the next level up. I'm not sure if I'd call it next level up, but it is what it is. There's also the Racetam family. Um, there's not a ton of research on these compounds. They're very experimental. Um, you know, they make claims like boosted creativity, enhanced clarity, um, but they are synthetic made drugs that are not approved for use in the United States. So this is another area where when it comes to your brain, in my opinion, at least, I think you should be very careful. I mean, it, it, it's the powerhouse for how we perceive reality. And when you start disrupting the natural neurological processes, even if it's in hopes of a stronger brain, when you start disrupting the chemicals with chemicals, there can be a lot of unwanted side effects. And it's a very, very complex world 
that goes on up there. So I caution anyone on that front. Anyways, the wonderful world of nootropics is absolutely fascinating. It's something that will continue to improve as more and more research comes out. If you like this video, share it for me. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this out. And until next time, I really appreciate y'all.